Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, I'm just on my way uh, into office, to my office today. I think, I don't think I'm going to stop there long. Uh, I'm going in wrong gear there. Uh, I think I'm gonna just get me pull-ups and pop up to Dens. I think. I think I might go for a bit of lunch up Sheffield today. Uh, not putting as many videos out because you can put too many out, can't you? And what happens is they don't become as good as when you put in ones where you put a little bit more thought into it so still playing about with channel uh, Howard Foster's house over there he's got a few quid old Howard Foster I don't want people to take that as that he's dodgy he's, uh, he's alright Howard I like him he's alright I didn't agree with people uh, Well, that was my kid's mum then. Phone and see where she is. Uh, yeah, I don't need to take that as dodgy. Because Howard Foster's sound is not dodgy. Not dodgy at all, but I didn't agree with them people smashing his car apart outside his house. So, you know what I mean? Didn't agree with that. Hello. You at home? Yes. I could have sworn I've just seen your car going through Ma. No, it's the kitchen. All right, in a bit. That's that sorted. Uh, it's just paranoid, aren't I? Lately, me paranoid. Right with me. Uh, no, I didn't agree with Howard Foster with what happened with him after Frotch Groves. Death threats on uh, Facebook and things like that. Didn't agree with it. Didn't agree with it. Uh, police said, do you, Howard, do you want protection? He said, no, I'm all right. What have we done wrong? But like I said, they smashed his car up, didn't they? Not good, is it? And that's what happens. That's what happens. I was doing a bit with my pal at Denneby. Some cars on a pitch and somebody come and fly it. Then rung me up laughing about it. So, all because I said that Tony Bellew has not beat a champion. Tony Bellew has not beat a champion, so what? Still a good fighter, wasn't he, Tony Bellew? But in my opinion, he was Euro level. That's my opinion. Eddie Hearn says that Tony Bellew is world level. No, he is Euro level in my opinion. That's it, Euro level. Talking about a guy here that's been knocked out. Talking about a guy here that's he was beat by cleverly and then he had a split decision with him when he dragged him up 25 pounds so don't even get me talking about Bellew but I wish him well and he does get a lot of stick mainly because he's the disappearing man isn't he he's, uh, he's like Scarlet Pimpernel but the only problem is the only difference between Tony Bellew and Scarlet Pimpernel is we see Tony Bellew every single time there's a Sky show on, don't we? We see him hanging out at the back of Eddie Hearn. So, Tony wants to pull me, he can pull me. Tony, give me a ring, Tony. Give me a ring, mate. 
but it is what it isn't. So... So, here we go. I don't like these flappy paddles, mate. I prefer the old, just stick it in D and just put your foot down. I mean, nobody has cars with clutches nowadays, do they? But, I think what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to go and see... I'm going to go over to Manchester tomorrow and see Peter Fury. Because uh, his brother Jimmy died. Um, on Saturday, so I'm gonna go see Peter, me and Frank, and probably go for a bite to eat or something. I'm not gonna stick camera in his face and all that, so I don't. You don't. You have mates who you, you close pals with, and then start sticking cameras in the face all the time. Do you when 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 they've got a lot on the plate? I didn't do it with Dennis when he's uh, when his dad died. Uh, so, go on like you do mate, just go in middle of the road on a push bike, as you do. Oh, into Mexpa now, so this is what happens in Mexpa. People just do not give a hoot. A hoot. Hoot is going to be the new word for F-U-C and then a kicking car. As I say to my little lad, it's a K for kicking car lad. But, so, I don't know who Chisora's going to fight, but I'd say David Price. Good old David Price. He's not beat a champion either. British and Commonwealth, former champion, but he's not beat a champion. I don't want to make this video into a video where I'm having a go at people from Liverpool. So I'm a Liverpool fan. But, there was a bit of a debate going on yesterday on social media, I was sat watching and I did actually put a few tweets out yesterday, which is not like me, but I just think sometimes you've just got to put your spoke in. It ain't something that I do every day. I mean, I think I only follow about 200 people. Yeah, I only follow 200 people, and it's like 220 or something, something like that. And I don't tweet all the time, but uh, every now and then I have a look at it and I feel like you have to engage, don't you? You've got to engage, you can't just put a video out and leave it at that. So, you go this way go this way. Uh, but David Price, right, this is how I look at it. This is how I look at it with David Price. Him and Chisora, if you add their ages together, they are over 72 years of age, added them both up together. They're over 72, right? That means that, you know, it's more or less over for them. They're just trying to get paydays. If this fight's even on. I mean, it might not even be on and, and I'm going to look like egg on my face. But without going on social media or, or, or looking at anything and knowing how Eddie works, I'd say it's David Price and Gabe Rosado. Good old Gabe Rosado, who's 12 losses. Him and Billy Joe would be a good fight, wouldn't it? You don't have to make weight, throw, it, throw him in. So, leave me a tin up the mate next time. Uh, but getting back to David Price Chisora now. David Price, if I remember, I forgot that. Oh, it's here. David Price, if I remember, has been 
knocked out six times. What is he? Uh, David Price is 30 odd fights, is he? Or something? 32 fights, 26 and 6, isn't he? 26 and 6. On box rec, he's 26 and 6. Right, fair enough. He's been iced six times. Do you know what I mean? If he came, if David Price came back. What am I doing here? I've come the wrong bloody way here now. If David Price came back, if there was an afterlife, David Price, he'd come back as an iceberg, wouldn't he? He'd come back as an iceberg. He would, honestly. He'd come back as an iceberg, David Price, or an ice cube or something. Or a bag of frozen peas. It, it, that's what that's what it, what happened with Price. Because he's been knocked out. We're talking about a man here that's been knocked out six times. Now, when you're putting this man in fights where he's been knocked out six times, you, you're putting him in danger, aren't you? Now he's just fought Tom. Not so little. He's just fought Tom Little, and it were an awful stoppage. And Tom Little is 10 and 7. 10 wins, 7 losses. And I feel for Tom Little on that loss, but what I will say is, Tom Little, I don't think he is area level, but I'd like to see him fight for an area belt again. But I don't think he's area level. I don't think he is. But Tom Little, He's, he's more or less journeyman, journeyman now, isn't he? More. Look at this here. Boy racing, Fiesta Whip. Big boy exhaust. I was doing that when I was a teenager. Listen, mate. What are you turning? It's no wonder they get pulled, isn't it? These. I don't know what he is. What, what is him there? What is he? What is he? What's that there? What is it? I don't know, but you need a revving it. His indicator's wrong as well. <laughs> Should I take him down here and smoke him? Should I smoke him? He's waiting for me, look. He'll come back round and try and chase me in. Do you know if I ever took him, waft would blow him into the ditch, wouldn't it? Jesus. So anyway, getting back to uh, David Price, 26 and 6. He's been iced six times, right? So, why would... I mean, after he'd been iced five times, they put him in with Povetkin. And after that, everybody said, well, he's finished. He's finished. But... What is going on with them with that lot? Bellew, Price and the Smiths and you know Cal, uh, Callum Smith and Tom Farrell and all that. Eddie Hearn, he seems to bend over backwards with them lot, doesn't he? He can't do enough for them. Now that show at Liverpool's not even selling tickets, right? If they go ahead with that show with John Ryder and Callum Smith, I will be shocked. I will be shocked if that fight goes ahead. I will just be shocked. For the simple reason that I don't think it's a good show. Callum against John Ryder. John Ryder's a middleweight, really, isn't he? The wins that he's had at Superman were against guys that were C class, weren't they, really? Let's have it right. He's a nice enough fella, John Ryder, but he's a middleweight, isn't he? Callum Smith. Kills him to make 168. He's a light heavy. But, as Joe Gallagher told a couple of people now, I know, they're not going to let him fight at 175 because of the bogeymen. Now, the bogeymen are yard day. I mean, people are saying Boatz is a bogeyman and you should swerve him, but who has Boatz beats? I mean, he's fighting Caparella next. I mean, he's shot to shit. He's shot to bits. Let's all pull behind Bus Love. Let's all pull behind the bus when there's a free lane here. What are you doing? That's it. What are you doing? You pulled behind the bus. Go on then. <laughs> Do 
So anyway, getting back to that. Right, Joe Gallagher knows that there's bogeymen at 175. There is. Callum Johnson, he's a bogeyman. He'll have sparred Callum Smith and they'll have felt what it's like to get clipped off a 175 guy. And they don't fancy it at 175, do they? Why not? 175 is the hottest division at the moment. 168 is not so hot. 168, no, 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 no. Not very good. 175, red hot. Red hot, some great fights there. Now, they'll all hope that Canelo gets a belt at 175. Kovalev retires and they can all get some paydays losing to Canelo. Now, this is how I look at it, right? Price, David Price. As soon as he left Franny Smith for it, he went, he's been downhill ever since. Looking for people to blame. The people to blame are Frank Maloney. Who bigged him up, bigged him up as the Lennox Lewis and Tony Bellew. David Price is the hair apparent. Hair apparent? <laughs> Where? Oh, Tony Bellew says he's hair apparent. Well, he must be then. Tony Bellew. Do you know what? I get more sense out of my seven year old than Tony Bellew. David Price is the hair apparent, alright? Never be a champion. But. They make sure that they seem we all right people and yes sir, no sir, humble to all the proper people, aren't they, in boxing. What they call it, they play the game. It's like Dennis says to me, you need to start and play game, Russ. Well, what do you mean? You need to start and play the game. Well, what, why? What, what, what is playing the game, then? Well, you know, you need to be a bit more reserved and not be as critical about certain people. Why? That's what I am, I am a critic, aren't I? I'm a critic. If people have a problem with me being critical, what you need to do, come to a Dennis Hobson show and say, I didn't like what you said. And I'll say, well, unlucky. It's my opinion, isn't it? What are these people going to do? Are they going to come and beat everybody up? Are they going to threaten everybody? Are they going to fly tip on everybody's premises? Or oh, make silly daft phone calls? And all that is that what's going to happen to anybody who's got an opinion about boxing or a, or a certain fight? Is that where it's going to end up? Is that where it's going to end up? Like Howard Foster getting his car smashed up, eh? Is that what it's about? Because he got paid out on his insurance more than what it was worth, so I did him a favour. I wish somebody would come and stick an hammer through this. I wish they would. I wish they wouldn't get me 14 bags. So, but this is how I look at it, right? It's boxing. People get bent out of shape, don't they, over a few opinions. It's boxing. That's all it is, boxing. Boxing. Just have an opinion about it. Be yourselves. Now, I know there's certain people who live in Doncaster and who are involved in boxing. I'm not going to say the names on here because they'll start roaring like little babies. But they know what they're saying about certain shows that Sky are putting on. But they don't say a Dickie Bird. They don't say a Dickie Bird and why is that? Well we know why don't we? We know why. We know why because they want to work with these people down the line whereas I don't give a hoot, and Den don't give a hoot, now, it might be a different kettle of fish if Den starts working with Sky, but, slack me Den, don't speak to me, lose a pal over boxing, nah, Den's, Den's too, Dennis is too genuine for that, ask Mick Whale, ask any of anybody, he's not like that, he's got, more, he's got a bit of polish about him, money's not, Money's not his issue, is he? He's a multi souffle swimming in Cho Chai. Now, the money Jamie McDonald got with Eddie Hearn, he'd have had that with Den. It's just that he thought he wouldn't have done. So, disloyal. Disloyalty. That's the worst thing in life, innit? Disloyalty. There's two things in life I don't like people going out with people's missuses while they're in prison. 
I don't like that. I've got a big problem with that. And the other thing is disloyalty. Now, if you can get them right, or even people going with anybody's missing in general, especially if they're a pal, if you can get them right in life, you can achieve anything, can't you, really? So, but it is where it isn't. But, what can you do? It's one of them things, in it? But, oh, speed camera. Oh, I love it place these speed cameras now, aren't they? The Earl Grey. We're all in Earl Grey at uh, Parkgate. Or is it Raw Marsh? I think it's Raw Marsh, isn't it? Earl Grey! Des in Earl Grey will fake your pokey. Des. I'll punch you upside down, Des. Come see me. As James Tony says. Come see me. Uh, so, David Price against Chisora. They've been knocked out nine times between them and they've got 15 losses. If this fight happens, I'm going to pick Derek Chisora to grind him down and stop him late on. Just to stop him after round seven, to stop him. He's just too rough for him, isn't he, in my opinion. He'd just be too rough and, too rough and ready for him. Uh, if it is Chisora Price, David A will be in Chisora's ear hole. They will try and get a world title off the back of a David Price win. Who beat Tom Little? Who beat Tom Little, Cash Alley, and Dave Allen? So you're beating guys that are area level. Does that mean that you get a, 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 a co pay per view against Chisora? I don't know, but that's how boxing's going in heavyweight division, isn't it? So it's good news for Cash Alley because with Dennis's experience and, and me putting my tuppence in, who knows what we can do with Cash Alley and Richard Towers uh, on at Cash Daily and changing his mindset. He's got the ability. I think his mindset's got to be changed. I think it, it could it could all uh, do well. Is it this way, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what? I don't even know where I am here. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here. It, 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 I don't know where I am. It's all blibs and blobs. I watched that last night. On whatever that. What do they call it? Is it the red button? I'm in bed bored last night. I put that on. Uh, only fools and horses. Uh, it were all blibs and blobs. It's a bit like my mate, and it were buried something, and they were looking for it a couple of days later. He says, "Where's that? Uh, where's that? Whatever?" And he said, uh, "Oh, that! I've buried it over, over yonder." Well, where the fucking bouts? Oh, I don't know. It's round here somewhere. I put it near a tree. He says, "A tree? We're in a fucking wood." Porky, tell him. So I'm not telling him. He's thick. See, that's what happens when you have loons around you. Loons. It's not bad that for an 09 plate. Porsche 09 plate. Porsche 09 plate. 18995. That's not bad that. Not bad. Cheap. Ah, if you're not fast, you last, mate. So I think I'm going to go for a game of snooker tonight at 7 o'clock. Now that I've got somebody giving me a use of snooker facilities. Four hours a day, six days a week, for free. Porky, no charge. Are you kidding me? No. I, I, I'm, I'm like a woodpecker, aren't I, lately? Peck, 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 peck. Pecking away, man. Peck, peck, peck. Hey, up, Dennis. I've got a new girlfriend now, Dennis. I'm like Ross Birkinshaw. Peck, 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 peck. When he was flying out as Commonwealth champion. Old Ross Birkinshaw, bless him. He used to walk around Meadow Hall Shopping Centre on a Saturday afternoon with his Commonwealth title. How proud were Ross of that belt? And his WBO European belt. He used to walk around the shopping centre with him on his on each shoulder, man. I mean, that's pride for you, that, isn't it? I'm going to tell you a little story about Bruce Woodcock from Edlington, where I'm from. 
I'll tell you a little story about Bruce Schiller. My granddad says to me, when they used to go in Tumblr, she was alright. My granddad says, when they used to go in Tumblr, people used to stand up and clap. Stand up and clap. And he asks about that. Get them, get, stand up and clap. We've got a British champion in pub. He's got a Lonsdale belt. How's about that then, eh? How's about that? And nowadays people want to pass, they want to bypass the, uh, how long's left here? 25 minutes from Mars, Jesus. They want to bypass the, uh, the British title to go for these other belts, these minor belts to get rankings and it's become a bit of a problem. It's become a bit of a problem, I think. But what can you do? If you pull anybody front board about it, they just say, I poss I couldn't possibly comment on that, Porky. So yeah, I bet you couldn't, yes. I bet. I bet you can. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll go to Den's after I've been here. See you out. I'm playing snooker at seven. What time are we on here? Five past twelve. It's a dog's life today, isn't it? Just going through Eastwood. Every time I come through here in Rotherham, all I see are Toyota Creeners, Nissan Almeras, oh, Nissan Micras. They love Japanese cars around here in Eastwood. I love them. Yeah, love them, but uh, have a lot. Sunny day today. Sixty-five plate Suzuki Swift. Five one nine five. Five one nine five for a sixty-five plate Suzuki Swift. Twenty-two hundred quid. That's a two and a half grand car, that, at, at, at Rothwell Auction, or Man Ape Auction. Jesus, what's wrong with it, world, man? He's doubling his money, him, double bubble. It's like me when I were in Moreland's with it back here, didn't even smoke. Had about 40 ounce under bed. Until burglars come on and took it, put me down block on basic. 40 ounce under bed. Had more back here than Asda. Keep your service and diagnosis, mate, at 50 quid a pop. We go to Edlington Mowers. If you need that done, come and see Porky. I'll get my mate to put it on. On. Uh, I'll get my mate to plug it in for free. Go on then. Yeah. So. Here's where it is, isn't it? So, let's have a look. Here we go. Have a workout. Could have brought my gym stuff. I could have had a workout today. Not that much to do. Let's have a look. Look at this here. Have a look. Rafters are here today. It's all looking good, isn't it? It's all looking very, very, very good. So I think that's about it, really. 29 minutes, 4 seconds, so... Yeah, I think we've just covered... We, we can put this video out, uh, with David Price. God, a David Price, if he don't fight Chisora now, I've just spent half an hour talking nonsense on about it. I look stupid, won't I? What, uh, what can you do, but I think it's a decent-ish fight, in it? It's not a pay-per-view, though. Pro Grey against Taylor, that's a proper fight, in it? That, that's pay-per-view. But listen, pay-per-view. So, well, what can you do? So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Shout out to Climate Cool and uh, Innovation Alloys at Sheffield. All right.
Take care.